Hi guys, so you should have chosen between one or two, doing number one first. So write about your thoughts and your feelings. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing and healing. Okay, so some of you, what I'm getting through are very much in your head and you don't really have much uh, clarity or much information for you to proceed moving forward. I also am getting that this is on the creative side as well. So when we're too much in our head, we're not really tapped in and tuned into our body, our femininity, which is our creativity. And that could be linked with worthiness. So I'm feeling already like this is something to do with worthiness. So let's just ask the angel spirit guides, what is this about? And let's see what comes out. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. Justice. And you've got healing as well. Okay, so there's some sort of like balancing out I'm feeling at the moment. It's sort of feeling like you feel um, like I don't, I'm getting the sense that there was some sort of like a judgment made or some sort of blame forced upon you. I'm getting this real like um, you're wanting justice, you're wanting to be strong, you're wanting to um, sort of get through this with a, a little bit of pride. Um, and, and just be careful that though it, you're not making an argument with somebody else's ego. I'm, I'm sensing that if you're so much in your head and you're not really tapped into your emotions, I feel like there's a lot of conditioning that's coming up for you right now. And the way for you to sort of get through this is to actually come back to your heart space and start to do some inner work and some healing. So for you guys, it seems to me that you're very much in your head. You're very much in your toxic masculine. Um, I'm very much sensing you're in your, your head and you've not really connected with your heart. You've not felt really worthy of working on relationships. So there seems to be this energy here of uh, and what I'm getting through from spirit is that you've been so disconnected from your truth that you actually crave something, but you feel like the world's been going against you in that area or something. There's this real energy of like, you've been doing things to mask what your truth is, which is interesting because that's why I feel like you're getting very clouded at the moment and you're not really sure what's going on because your head has just taken off and you are in some need of healing. And, and I don't say you need to sit there forever and just like be like, I am broken. But there's definitely some mending of the heart going on so that justice can be, I guess, presented in a healthy way. Something about a judgment call. So whether you walk away from a situation uh, that's not really working for you anymore and you get clarity for that by writing it down. You could even, if you're not used to it, just start writing down pros and cons, like what feels good, what doesn't feel good. Um, and that might sort of um, get you to uh, your heart space because, yeah, there's a lot of like, energy here around healing. So I might just get some more messages from Archangel Michael around what is underneath this healing? What is needing to be healed? You and your loved ones are safe. Okay. So it could have, like I said, something to do with like you're in a weird situation where you feel like if you speak your truth or if you maybe even are in a bit of an ego battle with someone and you're both in your heads and you're both like just coming from a place that's not heart centered. Archangel Michael's looking over all of you in this situation, but for now, it seems like you need to walk away. Sounds like both of you are in need of some healing here, and the best way for you to go about it is to write about your thoughts and your feelings. Let's get some more clarity on you and your loved ones are safe. Let's have a look. So, yes, yeah, my God. Energy healing work. And forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. Okay, so a big thing that's coming up is in order for you to actually come back to your heart space, there's a bit of an energy of like you're blaming yourself. So not only are you blaming whatever, whoever is in this situation, again, it feels like something to do with relationship or someone that's close to you or whoever it is. Um, uh, you both think you've done something wrong. You both think the other person's done something wrong. And they're saying the first thing for you to honor within yourself is, is that whatever's happened has obviously unfolded. You'll learn from it. But to come back to the space that we're all spirit informed, that you, we're all love at our core, sometimes these things actually need to rise to the surface. And that's what I'm getting coming through right now, even from spirit over in this direction here. I actually feel like you've put a lot of blame on yourself. And 
you've you've really oh god that's why some healing work's needed is for you to actually come back to who you really are there's this real disconnect from the remembrance that you are spirit and divine light source and full of love i feel like you almost um have disconnected from love altogether so whether your relationships are a little bit like uh, at the moment they're a bit like um childlike like fighting a lot or blaming judging shaming even yeah energy work guys you need to clear whoever the hell's in your um, energy field and it might mean walking away for a second so you can actually get some fresh air to breathe that's really really important um let's get a spiritual message guidance for anything else that you might need to know obviously this not might might not resonate with everybody because it's a general reading i will pop two of them out self-love that has literally just that's awesome. That has literally just confirmed today what you need to do. It's self-love. It's self-love. It's healing. It's energy work. It's knowing that when you do walk away from the situation just for a bit, they're looked after. My Archangel Michael has got your back here. Oh my God. Yes. Individuation. Never heard of this word. But the thing is, what's awesome about this? Oh, absolutely. You need to come back to your uniqueness. You need to understand that each character in this game that we're playing on this human reality, I'm not saying game is in like your trauma isn't a thing and you're not feeling what you're feeling. But when you come back to spirit and source, you know that everybody in your life is a key player of something. It's for your soul to grow and evolve and expand in consciousness. So when you become sort of immersed in the shared mind as in the conscious the unconscious collective which is the fear-based lack mentality and all of the the crappy stress overwhelm you become not really that much of an individual anymore you sort of just become like everybody else like society's way is the way and they're just telling you to look a bit deeper than that they're telling you to look deeper at this um situation or relationship that you're in as well because there's been no individualization. There's been no um, uniqueness coming to the forefront with this, which is, yeah, a bit sucky because it's like you've lost yourself, definitely. And you don't even know what's your feelings as opposed to somebody else's feelings. So definitely forgive yourself. Definitely understand this is about you. I'm not surprised. And that some healings needing to be done today. Um, and to be honest, that's short and sweet. That's it for energy number one. I hope that little bit of information helped you guys. And I'm going to carry on to number two now. Hi guys. So if you chose number two, this is your card. Detach from the situation. Yeah. Okay. So there's some heavy attachments going on to things that aren't really serving you anymore. Um, life is a bit like that, by the way, guys. We're detaching and attaching and detaching and attaching in most areas of our life constantly. So there is a constant sort of death and rebirth cycle that ho happens in literally every single minute of the day, every moment. Two seconds ago wasn't the same as this second and, and so on. So we're always sort of letting go and having a new beginning. Um, and this one here though is um, definitely calling you. I think you just know what it is. Um, I'm gonna get some more clarity from the goddesses and sirens deck as to what you're detaching from spirit what are they detaching from those who chose number two what are they detaching from i'm not going to go with all those cards because there's too many there so let's just one or two cards would be great what are they attached to or should i say what are they needing to detach from definitely taking a sweet time isn't it this is when spirit usually get a bit sassy if i start to get a little bit sassy with them we're going to use this part of the deck because there seems to be a lot of cards coming out and um i'm just going to intuitively pick them to be honest you're really not wanting to detach from this situation all right those two wanted to come out all right detaching from prosperity Maybe there's a lack of belief that you won't be prosperous. I'm feeling this is more business financial um, and strategy. Okay, I see what's going on. Right, what I'm getting from spirit at the moment is that you've got this one, like one way of doing things, okay? And you're feeling like, yep, that's the way. Someone told me once that that's it. I've been doing a lot of research. I've been like, yep, this is the way. And I'm feeling like whether what whatever your strategy is for this, they're saying like, it's actually blocking prosperity because it's not coming from the heart, it's coming from the head. And a lot of the sword-like energy is cutting of the head, like cutting of the, the mind. 
and sort of just like you're attached to things um, looking a certain way or let's say if it's to do with your business or something, it's almost like you're just following the herd. You're just doing what everybody else is telling you to do and they're saying like come up with a new strategy and release all the advice you've ever heard. They're really wanting you to like literally tap into your heart here and, and – um, Allow spirit to show you what the new strategy is. I feel like you're taking this strategy, whatever it is, this direction that you're going in with business. I feel like it's like to to either you're in like a promotional world or a promotional world. You're either wanting to expand in your job role. You're either an entrepreneur who is trying to get clients or market or advertise. It's definitely to do with business, guys. So if this doesn't resonate, tapped into number one, more about relationships and stuff. But this is definitely business um, and career and purpose. So yeah, whatever strategy, it's not really working at this current moment in time and it's actually blocking financial abundance. So let's see what more so is going on around strategy. You're on the right path. So never question that you're actually not in the right career. So they want you to know you're actually not in the, the wrong career or you're not, not doing what your heart's doing. But when it comes to actually stepping up in the job role, when it comes to stepping up in expanding your business, you're just keeping yourself stuck by thinking you know how it's going to work out and you don't. Spirit are like, there's some surprises. They're like, let the surprises come in because like there's been knocks on your door. You've just not really been answering. Um, I'm going to ask what these knocks are. What are these opportunities that are coming in for people in this situation? Innocence. Yeah, okay, so tap into the innocence of your heart. Tap into the childlike energy that actually makes business or career exciting again. I actually feel like, yes, you're on the right path. Yes, you know where you want to go with life or whatever you're in, but you've become so serious. I think that's why detachment's necessary because you've held on way too tightly to what should be actually really fun. So there's some innocence here of like, <sighs> come back to my heart. What, what would I do if it hadn't been done before? That's a question that you need to ask yourself. Um, because that's going to bring about prosperity. So one thing I want to tell you guys is money will always be there. If it's coming from a really loving heart space, wow, like money's going to be there. Money is energy. Energy is love and consciousness and money is a form of energy. So when you can channel love into what you're doing and rather than it becoming so strategic and so it's very three dimensional, it's very masculine, but it's a bit toxic masculine. So you're obsessing over it, which is where the attachment's coming from, which is why you're blocked because you're resisting you being in the receiving mode. So it's starting to like tap into your heart receive you're definitely on the right path but there's going to be some new strategies coming for you Ooh. release there we go amazing you're needing to release detach release same same which is awesome release the need to know everything before you even start as well i'm feeling like there's a bit of you having a lot of pressure to know what's going to unfold. Now you're in the unknown with this situation. As soon as you release whatever you're holding on to in regards to business or calling in a promotion or a new job or anything like that, let it go. <laughs> Give it to your angels, detach, clear, release from your energy field. I'm also feeling that there's one other influence in your life. And again, this may not apply for everyone, but I've just gotten this information to share with you. I'm feeling that there could be one sort of um, person, very influential, thinks they know everything, if you know what I mean. Um, could be actually family tied as well. So whether you're in some sort of family business or they have a strong opinion as to how you should do things, they're saying to detach from everybody's opinions, like literally cut the cords. So I hope that helps. Um, what is some spiritual guidance for you right now? What do you need to know moving forward? What is the collective who picked number two need to know? Inspiration. Beautiful, guys. Inspiration, prosperity, abundance. Yeah, let go of the strategy. Detach from that. Tap into definitely the innocence of your heart. And tap into, yeah, the muses. Don't you love this, guys? The muses. So, I mean, a muse to me would mean, you know, something that inspires you. What do you love doing? What did you as a child love doing? What did that innocent part of you love doing before you even got in the job that you're in or the career path that you're in? Tap back into that. That's going to really, really help you. Um, so you've got a lot of goodness coming. Um, and let's just get one more from Archangel Michael. 
again, okay, so this is forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. So if some of you have sort of felt like you've failed because this strategy hasn't gone to plan or how you think the job was going to turn out or how you thought someone was going to respond to you didn't really work out, please know that you've done nothing wrong. You've done everything right. Everybody does everything right. Everyone is a key player in this human game. So everyone comes into your life for a reason. They're saying you're on the right path. You've done nothing wrong. Tap into the innocence of your heart. Play, get some inspiration back. I'm feeling like one more, one more piece of inspiration, Archangel Michael. What do they need to hear right now? Yeah, see, you're guided and protected by him. So some of you may be really fearful about letting go of this strategy, or some of you might be even letting go of like employees, even if you're in that higher role or something like that. You could even be letting go of the physical, not just the energetic and the, the mental and emotional. So there could be some physical detachment here happening as well in order for you to break free to actually come into some sort of new inspiration, which is going to lead you to prosperity. Yeah, as long as you release the strategy. So I hope that I hope that helped today, guys. Um, and I will chat to you soon.